Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do arches with a voxel sniper. This is going to be a very simple tutorial, um, just on some of the basic commands and some techniques you can use. So this is kind of what I'm going to be showing you how to do, a brief little example of what they're going to end up looking like. So, let's get into the video. Okay, so I found a decent area to make an arch. I just figured I'd make an arch from right there to right there. So to start out we're going to get out the arrow which is the tool that we're going to be using most and we're going to use the command uh, forward slash B B which is brush and then the ball tool and we're going to set our brush to stone so forward slash V and the item ID which is 1 and then I'm going to set the brush size to something around 6 so 6 will create things this big you can obviously go bigger or smaller which I will also show you so right click to place it and you just go up just like this until you make it connect now you can experiment with this a little bit get it how you want it um, just a little tip to undo things is just forward slash U. I may have to use that a few times in this video if I mess up so now there is our basic arch with no effects or anything added to it. Now I'm going to get rid of these leaves real quick so I don't duplicate them on accident. So now they're gone. Alright, so we're just going to go over it with the Milt tool now. So we're going to go B, E, and then Milt. And this is going to shrink the amount of blocks that we're working with. So I'm going to go through and this is basically just making it so it's not as sphery, well, circleish, circular. So, like that. Now we're going to lift it. So, B, E, lift. And we're going to go through it like this, just by right clicking once every so often. Just so we don't end up overdoing it. Just like that. Now that could be good for you. You can also add more detail if you want to. So I could melt it some more actually. I'm going to go BE melt and then just go over and melt some of that. Maybe some over here and maybe a little off the top. Just like that. And over here it's looking a little chunky. So that looks about good. Maybe a little off there. And I would say that is a pretty good arch. Um, one other tip or trick or whatever is go to your ball tool and change your brush size to like three and go around the edges right here just to make it a little more realistic. So it's not just some big boulder coming out of the ground. It kind of looks like it has a little detail to it. You can even go smaller t too to fill in some tight corners and holes like that. Alright, but now what we're going to do is we are going to paint it. We can go through and get rid of these little things like that. Just to make it look a little better. But we're going to go B over a depth of 3. We're going to change our brush to the dirt. And this is going to paint dirt right over it. And we're going to change our brush size to something like 20 something ridiculous large. So then when we paint over it, it will paint almost everything. Now what we're going to do is change it to um, B over D1 and then change it to grass. My bad. V and then grass. Now you can do this however you would like to with any different resources. But I'm, this is just how you do it to get the most natural looking effect out of this. Bam. So just go all the way through this. And some other things I can recommend to you is making the brush size a little smaller um, by going B and let's say um, 10 is a good number, actually 8. Changing it to sand and then going along the edges like this just adds a little more realisticness I would say to it if you use sand along the water area makes it look a little like I said realistic and natural 
So then you can use the tree tool, which I recommend using, which is just um, B and T, and that adds the tree tool. And you just right click to place trees, which is very useful when making these so you don't have to go along with bone meal and saplings and place them like that. Now you can use BS, which is the single tool, so edit a single block, change V to glowstone, like this, and then go under and add some pieces of glowstone just to lighten it up at night so it's not some dark underhang where monsters spawn all the time. And I actually recommend going underwater and changing at least one of those so then it's not too dark. And you also can go and get bone meal if you want to, just like this, and maybe add some flowers and wild grass on the top of it. One other thing you can do, which makes it look really nice, is get a water bucket and go under your new arch and maybe dig up one and in one, place the water, maybe do that in a couple locations, so I'm going to do it three times right there, and let's just say it coming out the side right here, and that just adds a new feel to it. So that is the arch we just created. Um, that actually probably took less than five minutes. I'm not keeping track of time. I just know it didn't take very long. So that's that. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me below. I'm not a pro with Voxel Sniper, but I will be able to answer your questions. So thank you for watching. I will try to put the brushes in the description. Um, have a good day and goodbye.